You are welcome to another video of Juniper Jones Associate course. In this section, I will talk about Juniper Monitor Traffic Command, another analysis and troubleshooting command which is used to capture traffic, but only traffic that are originated or the destination is Juniper device itself. And they are also processed by routing engine. Transit traffic and traffic processed by packet forwarding engine are not captured by monitor traffic command, even if they are originated or the destination is Juniper device itself. As I explained earlier, you cannot capture transit traffic with a monitor traffic command. You can only capture the traffic from or to the device itself. But it's important to remember that it only captures traffic processed by routing engine. Incoming and outgoing traffic processed by packet forwarding engine even if they originate from or they are destined to the Juniper device itself are not captured by monitor traffic command. Usually when we want to test monitor traffic command we start with sending ICMP traffic to the Juniper device and we expect that we can see the result in monitor traffic command. But depending on the platform most probably you cannot see ICMP traffic in the output of monitor traffic command. This is because in some Juniper platforms, ICMP traffic are not processed by routing engine and they are processed by packet forwarding engine. In such situation, you can send ICMP packet with a size bigger than 1,500. 100 byte from Juniper device itself. So it has to fragment the traffic before it sends the ICMP packets. This is because fragmenting ICMP traffic is handled by routing engine. So you can see the ICMP traffic in monitor traffic command output. Before starting packet capture with monitor traffic command, let's first review the topology on which we will capture the traffic. There are two virtual SRX devices connected to each other through Giga Ethernet 000 interface with the IP subnet 101010-24. In this example, we want to configure a packet capture example with monitor traffic command to capture some traffic to the destination of virtual SRX2. These are some examples for capturing traffic with monitor traffic command. The first example capture ICMP traffic, but as I have explained earlier, depending on the platform, probably you cannot see the packet since ICMP traffic are processed by packet forwarding engine in some platform. If you want to see the ICMP traffic, you can send ICMP traffic with a size bigger than 1500 bytes from the Juniper device itself to force Juniper device to process ICMP traffic with routing engine. With this command, we can capture ICMP traffic incoming or outgoing from Giga Ethernet 000. All our examples are the traffic originated or designed to the interface Giga Ethernet 000 in which are SRX2. The second command capture traffic in interface Giga Ethernet 000 with the condition that the source or destination IP is 10, 10, 10, 1. For capturing traffic with the source or destination IP address in a specific subnet, we use net option. For capturing traffic with a specific source or destination port, we use the port option. The, in the next example, no resolve option is used, no resolve option in monitor traffic command is used to eliminate the delay of querying the IP addresses from DNS servers. With matching ARP option, we can capture ARP traffic. The next example shows the application of logic commands like NOT, OR, AND, AND in matching traffic. The next two examples show matching and capturing traffic from a specific source or destination host 
And the last example shows how to match and capture traffic based on MAC address. Now let's to implement some of the mentioned command. For the first example, we try to capture ICMP traffic with sending ICMP traffic once with default size and once with a size bigger than 1500 bytes. Let's start capturing traffic with, let's start sending ping traffic from the IP address 10.10.10.1 10, 10, 10, to address 10.10.10.2, 10, 10, 10, the other side of the link. And here we try to capture in virtual SOX2, capture with matching ICMP command. As you can see, no traffic is captured since the ICMP traffic is processed by packet forwarding engine. Now I'm connected from virtual SX1 to virtual SX2 through telnet command and then I will try to send ICMP traffic ping 10 10 10 1 with the size for example 1550 and at the same time I will try to capture again ICMP traffic as you can see now ICMP traffic is captured when the size of the ICMP packet is bigger than 1500 bytes for the next example we generate telnet traffic from virtual SRX1 to virtual SRX2 and capture the traffic with monitor traffic hus option to match based on IP address so here I write matching host 10 10 10 1 and then here I will try to telnet from as you can see telnet traffic with the telnet port or capture telnet 10 10 10 2 and you can see the Telnet traffic is captured in virtual SRX. These are just two examples from the examples that I've explained in the previous slide.